jallikattu issue has once again slapped on our face the reality that india is not a nation as is fraudulently called so india is a country which has more than 30 nations in it however the indian constitution failed to recognize this stark reality and hence the indian constitution is outdated the indian constitution was put together by the elites of india represented by jawaharlal nehru by using ambedkar a dalit as a friend to deceive indian people time has come now to take a fresh look on the indian constitution which needs a thorough revision indian constitution would have to be revised as a federal constitution so that the cultural affairs of every nation would be decided by the respective nation rather than the so called central authority this is where the role of supreme court comes to be questioned a judge is after all a human governed by his own passions knowledge and virtue one or few judges of a given ethnicity shall not decide on the cultural affairs of a nation of different ethnicity the supreme court judges remark the tamil shall wrestle instead with the lions and another judges remark the tamil shall play video games instead or such a shame directed on tamils this exhibits their mental disposition against this issue and against tamil community these judges belong to different ethnicity and obviously their derisive comment proves the point tamils would not accept any such judgment against jallikattu the very purpose we appeal to higher courts is that we are dissatisfied with the judgment of the lower court when this fact is acknowledged that a given judge's judgment shall be questioned it shall dawn on our mind that even supreme court in principle shall falter in its verdicts here it is faltering because the judges who are chosen to judge are not ethnic tamils their judgment is bound to fail and it has failed the very fact that non tamils are judging a cultural matter which is very specific to tamils is an insult on tamil nation it means the tamils are being subjugated what is at stake is tamil self respect and their freedom even though indian constitution is not federal in scope if procedural etiquette is followed which upholds the federalism thus leaving this matter to ethnic tamil judges of supreme court this problem would not have originated at all ethnic tamil judges would have simply allowed this even to happen as usual despite the nonsensical inclusion of bulls in performing animals list they would have advised the government to remove bull from the said list but non tamil judges are making unwarranted comments insulting a nation of people india is treating tamil nation as a slave nation tamils are very well aware of the anti tamil attitude of the governing elite of india this we are able to see in the way india handled elam war this we are able to see in the way india is handling the fishermen problem this we see in the way it is handling a number of issues including this current jallikattu issue when this essay is being prepared it is said that mr modi has tossed the ball back to mr o panir selvam's court saying that he is not able to do anything positively and that he would support tamil nadu chief minister now that we do not accept the supreme court verdict and the delhi government's disappointing attitude the next authority is people who would ultimately decide on the issue the law is for the people people are not for law the law should be meaningful and it should cater to the welfare of its people this is democracy hence we tamil people should take decision ourselves on our own cultural affairs which is our right and privilege and not somebody else's the way ahead chief minister o panir selvam has to pass the resolution in the assembly and typically voting it as in the following jallikattu is tamil's cultural event which is in vogue for the past several millennia only tamils would have the authority to decide on it the supreme court has no jurisdiction on tamil's cultural affairs if india needs to amend the constitution to accommodate this reality it is welcome to do so we are asserting our exclusive right on upholding the cultural ethos of tamils we advise the delhi government and the supreme court not to poke its nose in the cultural affairs of our nation any such misadventure in future shall have serious consequences on the unity of india after passing this sternly worded resolution the chief minister should conduct jallikattu with all the fanfare and protection this is what tamils are expecting from this cabinet if admk government is unable to do so or if it is unable to conduct jallikattu it is obvious such worthless government should demit its office hence the student should demand resignation of the cabinet of ministers and they should also seek the resignation of the mlas 
that should be the next stage of struggle for the students in assam such lack of confidence on the existing political parties led the all assam student union to float a political party assam gana parishad and they won the election also twice taking lessons from their experiment tamil students shall form a successful government a genuine and a model government which would set classic standards on governance through the peaceful way that the students are handling the jallikattu demonstration they have already set the standard they would set such great standards in governance also